rotating leadership. The late leadership also means how do we make decisions? It also means how do we do accounts? So actually, what you discussed about the every light bulb, right? That's something called participatory budgeting. It's not the way the government works, right? That's not what the government do. That's not what schools and organizations do. What you're doing is brave and ambitious and beautiful, but it requires knowing how to do it. There are certain ways of working. You talked about the modus operandi, okay? So, rotating leadership, really clear participatory budgeting that requires a bit of training. It's not hard, but just how do you make that work when there's so many people? Okay, clear written rules, agreed so that everybody understands what's going on. Guidelines for communicating. How often will you have the meeting? How will you have it? Will you have it in a circle like this or is there some other way you want it? How do you make sure every voice is heard and that you can actually have a participatory way of working? Um, and maybe some protocols around communications, meetings and decision making. Okay, once that's all clear, then that framework is there and everybody, when there's clarity, it's much easier. And then there's a piece around engaging the new committee in, engaging the new committee in supporting the organizing of the marketing, of the market, but then also in the second part. So the second part of what I've heard is that you need a new marketing and advertising and promotion strategy that is going to increase the foot footfall that maybe look beyond the physical market at things like orders, mail outs, you mentioned contacts, some other way of engaging people beyond that Tuesday, because what I heard is Tuesday isn't enough to, to maintain a livelihood. So what we want to do is we keep the focus of livelihoods, but expand it so that there's more <coughs> revenue generating around that market, around that one day, right? We want to look at increasing the off-season footfall, that marketing strategy, and ensuring that there are different opportunities for different vendors so that the handicrafts can make enough sales. It's not just a food and beverage. So how can you market advertise the markets in ways that ensure that there is a certain equity around how people and who is coming? Um, and also going back, making sure that the, the committee members can support in that marketing strategy. And maybe within Sanigal, because there's a lot of talent, maybe there are some great marketing, advertising, social media gurus who can support around how to do a new visibility. Because like you said, Rico, with anything, there's a honeymoon period. And so now it's phase two. You've been successful. You've been really, really successful in your first phase, and now you're reaching to the second phase, and the question is, how are you going to need to promote that and shape it? And that's the second pillar. And then there's a third pillar for this proposal, which is some experiments to understand about participation in other markets, okay? Because what I heard was that there's a lot of people with ideas about the impact of this, one way or another, but we don't know. So what experiments can we try and do? I know it's the end of season now, it's a bit tricky, but what are the little experiments that you can do that you can then come back to this circle and say, okay, we tested this, we tested this, and it showed this, or we tested that, and it showed that, because the way you'll figure it out is on the real data, not on perception, okay? So I don't have anything written here, because that's the next step, but it seems like what's important is that you can create some experiments and then what I would like us to leave with today is a date when you will come back to review this and to review the experiments. Right? Does that make sense? Is there anything in what I've said that is unclear or needs clarification? <coughs>